KMA demands that investigations into the misappropriation of funds at the NHIF be expedited and findings be made public. All those found culpable of wrongdoing should be made to face the law. The Kenya Medical Association and the Doctors Union yesterday demanding the disbandment of the caretaker board at the troubled NHIF to pave way for the establishment of a new one. They accused the interim board of overstaying in office despite receiving suspension orders through a court ruling. <laughs> but the caretaker board, led by Kotu Secretary General Francis Atuoli, says the board is only facilitating the return of sanity to the insurance fund. This is not a substantive board where people should say, oh, we are not on this board. In any case, they are talking of stakeholders, National Hospital Insurance Fund, National Social Security Fund. They are not funds for stakeholders, people who hold stake like this. These are funds for social partners. Social partners are participants. Participants are workers and employers. Atwoli defended the interim board's stay, saying so far the first interim report is complete and was handed to the president. He accused the doctor's body of being influenced by individuals against reforms at the NHIF. Doctors are consumers of what you people contribute to National Hospital Insurance Fund. They don't contribute. Kenya Medical Association has no membership, entire membership, to contribute. Today, KOTU can divert the fund to something else. We can ask workers to form our own independent insurance fund, and that thing will die. The interim board at the same time requested for an extra three months to complete the comprehensive report and source a new CEO.